Hi everyone. I'm doing just a very quick um, package opening. I already kind of opened the package uh, packages um, of a couple of doll items that I purchased through Etsy and through um, the Ball Joint Doll Face Groups. Um, I just received them today, so I just wanted to give you guys a quick review. Um, first, we'll do these. This is from an Etsy um, artist, Royalty Dolls. Here's their card. I know it's backwards, but at least you can see it. And on the back they say, thank you for your purchase. Find us on Etsy, Instagram, and Pinterest, the royalty dolls. They also have a smart doll specific Instagram called smart royalty dolls and tag us in your photos, they say. So what I bought from them was just a couple of bracelets for smart dolls and they're like metal bangles. Um, and I have silver and gold. So here's the gold ones. They're just silver, or they're just little um, thin bracelets. And I think you get, let's see, one, two, three, four, five in a pack. So I got five gold and then I got 10 silver, if you can see there. Um, I actually have Belle and Haru here helping me out. Um, Belle because these gold ones are specifically for her and Haru here because these other items, I wanna try something on her, not necessarily specific for her, but just to try them. So I'm just gonna open up this um, gold set of bracelets. Um, we'll see how they fit on her. So um, both of these sellers um, did ship very quickly. They provided um, tracking and everything came up fine, so. Just open this up. Let's see. And they use like a twisty tie to secure it on this little like card here, but it's almost like it's <laughs> oh, it's taped down. That's why I can't get it. <laughs> I thought it was like glued down or something. Here we go. Alright, so pull this little twisty tie out. And I guess I could have done a close-up of the packaging too um, before I opened it. But here is like an individual little ring. It's like pinky size ring finger for me if I can even do that. Oh, yeah, there you go. There, I could match if I wanted to. That's kind of cool. Um, but there is five in a package. And so I wanted to um, try one on Belle here. Um, if anyone else has watched my uh, videos before, you know I'm kind of basing Belle here off of Belle Dandy from the anime and manga series On oh My Goddess and she wears um, gold jewelry. She has gold bangles. So I was really excited to find these um, to give her kind of a more goddess look and I can't remember. I think she has like, I only got one package because she only had like a few on one wrist and then a few on the other wrist but just for the sake of trying them on this video. I'm just going to put them all on one arm for her. Um, but I think she'll get like two on one arm and then three on the other. So let's see how they look. Obviously they just slipped right on. Um, definitely would have to remove the hands unless you have maybe like the like cupped hands. It's like a smooth kind of edge with no thumb. Um, but there she is. You can see it there on her wrist. They fit nice. They have movement so it's not like too small to slide up the arm and it's not too big to slide off of the hand. Whoops, there her head goes. Um, she is a prototype so that's why her head spins a little bit. I probably should put some putty in there or something for her. Poor Belle. Well, she's a goddess so it doesn't matter to her. Um, let's see if I can get this closer so you guys can take a look at the... I'm going to have to get up from my table here. Um, let's see. So there it is on her wrist and they look really nice. They have nice shine. Um, they sit nicely on the wrist. I really like that. That's pretty cool. So again, that was Royalty Dolls and they do have um, an Etsy page. Um, so I got the gold ones for Belle because she wears the gold jewelry. Um, I'll just slide her over a little bit. The silver ones I actually got, I'm really excited about. Um, I'm adding them to the 
um, Dal Jerry um, cosplay outfit they made of another goddess from the Amai Goddess series, Payorth. Um, they made that really fantastic, like, leather, like, kind of armor, I guess you could say, that she wears. And she wore um, silver bangles on both of her wrists, so I'm excited to add that to that set and then kind of make it as an outfit for somebody to wear. Not necessarily wanting to recreate that character, but definitely to go along with that um, outfit from Doll Jerry. So, there is Royalty Dolls again on Etsy. I would definitely give that a thumbs up. Um, I don't know, I'll probably leave them on her. I don't think that they would like turn her colors like how some jewelry does for humans with the interaction between the skin and the moisture and everything. Dolls, they're lucky they don't have to worry about that. Their skin is gonna always stay perfect, right? Unless they get into smudges. Um, so the other thing that I got was some resin ears for dolls. Um, probably, you know, they might go better on resin dolls, but it really doesn't matter. They're, they're white right now, so I'd have to paint them, but um, this seller advertised in the Ball Joint Doll Groups, it's called uh, LT Craft, um, which LT stands, it's the initials of his name, and I don't remember what it is, Lance something, I think. Um, but anyway, he was having a sale. He was clearing out uh, some stuff that he had already made, and so I decided to get a few of the sets. And they come with um, magnets set into the ears, and then um, spare magnets to put like underneath the wig, or maybe if the head cap is small enough, you could put it on the other side of the, um, the inside of the head cap with like putty or something. Um, so I actually got a little pair of wings. Um, a pair of fox ears and then a pair of rabbit ears and I should have brought my scissors so let me just go grab those really quick. I'll be right back. Just enjoy the dolls for a moment. Okay so I thought it would be fun to try the rabbit ears on Haru since I uh, her namesake is based off of an anime character um, that is an anthro rabbit and so I thought it'd be fun to just give her these and see how they look on her. They might be too heavy, I don't know, um, to just do like under the wig, but we'll take a look here and see because otherwise it would probably have to be secured by um, putty. Um, but they're just white resin, and they were just cute, simple designs. Um, so, and then I don't, I didn't really show you the little thing, but there's his logo, LT Craft. And then with each set of ears, there's the um, magnets that would go under the wig or the head cap. So, just for the heck of it, let's see. So here's the bunny ears. If you can see, they're kind of, they have a nice little curve to them. I guess it doesn't even matter which side you would put the ears. And you could like put them on the side, maybe so they look like they're sloping down. But oh, <laughs> she's too tall. Let me get her kneeling. I had her in these really cute um, Gaeta sandals, and I thought they would show in the video, but she's um, those are just out of screen, and then she's too tall to put the ears on and still show her on the screen. So I guess I'll just have to have her kneeling. All right. Let's see if I can get her there. All right, so there she is. And let's just see what they look like on her. So maybe like that. Oh, that's cute. Or even uh, depending on where you put the magnets, you could do like, oops, they're snapping together. Good thing I didn't break that. They seem pretty, pretty uh, stable though. You could do something like that. Um, we'll tie them on her in just a second. So there is some bunny ears and there's some magnets for them. Let me see if I can just free those away so we can... The magnets are sticking to my scissors too. Alright, so spare magnets and um, let's see what this set is. 
think these these are the um, they're like little angel wings or just I guess you could say bird wings or whatever you want to say. And so these I was hoping, I mean they he sh um, on his sale listing he showed an example of them like um, kind of wrapped around a doll head like you know wings coming off the top of the head like like so. Um, so the magnets are. Let me show you a close-up of these. They're really nice and detailed. Um, that's really pretty. So they're like, you know, a pair like that. And they definitely have a nice curve where they would kind of wrap around the head. So we'll just keep using Haru here and see how they look. Of course, her ponytail is getting in the way, but it would be like, depending on where you put it, it could wrap around there. Um, or it could come off the back or if you have smaller dolls you could definitely um, put the magnets on the inside of the resin if they're if it's thin enough resin or maybe just on the inside of the shirt um, like for Haru here and then they would come off the back and they'd be adorable little wings oh my gosh that's so cute I love wings I just I love birds I love feather things I love the idea of flight so Anytime I get a chance to get a little pair of wings for my dolls, I would, I jump on it. All right, so rabbit ears, little wings, and then the last one is, let's see here, these um, fox ears. He actually had a fourth type of ears, um, but he had already sold out of them by the time I um, followed up with him. So these are little fox ears and actually this was a pair he um, had sold out of this set too. So these are the fox ears. They're just kind of curved and the magnets there on the base. Um, this was a pair that was like a sample pair he was going to just keep for himself um, but he let me know the flaws in them and sold them to me anyway because I really wanted them. So thank you so much LT Craft. Um, and then here is the last set of spare magnets. Let's see if I can get them in taped. Um, I don't know if those rabbit ears, which are the biggest, will be able to stay up underneath the wig, but we'll give it a try. So uh, don't mind me, Haru. I'm just going to borrow your wig for a second. Let's see if we can get this on here. Probably it might be beneficial to um, put magnets on, or like maybe even under the wig cap. Oh my gosh, all these magnets are snapping together. Um, they're very strong. All right, keep those together. All right, there's one. And oh, he actually sent me a couple spare magnets, which is nice in case I ever lose these. There and there's two. Ooh, they are they're very strong. I don't know if you guys could hear that snap. Oh my gosh, can I even get this back off with my fingernails? Yes, this is really strong. All right, so let's see. I would think the curve you'd want to have go away or flow out from the head. So um, just testing it out on the head cap. There it is. I just I'm not holding it or anything. Um, I have the magnet on the inside of the head, or the wig, and then I just have the um, ear just sticking off the top. It's going to be cute. I just know it. So let me do the other one here. Of course, the struggle will be getting this back on her head without moving these ears. I don't know. This, that's probably going to be impossible, right? Because the wigs are so tight on smart dolls. Um, but let's see what I can do here. Oh, it was resisting me at first because I um, was trying to make it go the wrong way. All right, so here would be some bunny ears. I certainly could re-angle them a little bit, but here you go. Oh my gosh, that already looks so cute. I don't know, and probably maybe with these because they're metal, if you're concerned about it leaving a mark on the head, maybe you'd get like a little um, head cap, like those little plastic vinyl, vinyl things to protect it, but just for the sake of um, 
trying this on her. Let's see if I can get these on. I probably should have tried the uh, smaller set for the sake of this video, so it's easier to do, but let's see if I can do this. Probably not gonna be able to, let's see. I always have to like hold my girls um, like kinda in my lap while I'm putting their wigs on because they always wanna move away from me. All right, so let's see if I can do it here. I don't know, this might be hard, especially with Haru's <laughs> ponytails. Pick the most difficult one, but this is who I kind of bought this for, so we'll just see. Let's see if I can do it. Okay, it's kind of going without falling off here. Okay, it's not going to be perfect, but there we go. Okay, her <laughs> she's kind of crooked here. Not due to the ears, but just due to me putting them on crooked. All right, so let me just take a quick leveling look here. Move this little stand out of the way. Oh my gosh, it already looks so cute. Um, all right, let's see. So it's not like perfectly balanced, but it actually is doing pretty decently. I don't know how it looks from the back for you guys. It already looks cute with her white shirt and the white ears. All right, so actually I was able to put that on just by maintaining it. So there she is. Isn't that the cutest thing? I'm definitely all for um, adorable anime ears, or just animal ears, I should say. Um, there she is. That's so cute. And because the magnets are pretty strong, I could put them back that way like as if her hair is being blown away or she just has rabbit ears going off that way um, these will be definitely fun to give a little color to um, those are so cute I love them that actually wasn't too hard to put on um, little fox ears these would go um, great for like my boy CJ and then um, really anybody could wear these maybe my little card captor Sakura doll um, could wear them like under through her clothes so just like with the hair if the resin or the vinyl or whatever is too thick to like go through the actual back um, because then it would be the back and the clothes if they're wearing clothes you could just put it through the clothes really I guess um, so there you go um, LT craft for these adorable um, resin ears wings accessories and royalty dolls on uh, Etsy for some jewelry. They have a bunch of other stuff too, but I really like their jewelry and it's just, it was a great price and they're just so cute and they were exactly like what I was looking for. So thank you so much for watching this sort of quick review. It's already coming up on 20 minutes, um, but check out those couple of sellers and see what you think for yourself. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great belly day.